In this segment, I will demonstrate how a judge might preside over his docket for the day. Let's say it is now April 30th and I'm ready to access my afternoon docket. I can check off those cases I've already completed and choose to hide them so I'm only seeing those cases that are remaining. I can also make notes on the today's event to better manage the dynamic of today's docket. For example, I can indicate that I need an interpreter for two of the cases and group the cases accordingly to take better advantage of the interpreter research. Once I select the case, I am instantly presented with a case summary summarizing key data for the case, including the detailed charge information as well as the associated dockets for the case and other case information. In preparing for my docket, I had snippeted a portion of the motion. I can now just click on that text and quickly bring the document back up with the system highlighting in pink the text I had originally selected. AI SmartBench offers a robust, full-text searching feature where I can key in any word in the case, such as chapstick, and then execute a search in milliseconds to retrieve a graphical snippet of those documents containing the word chapstick. Once I have selected a document, I can execute a find for the word chapstick within the document. Notice there are six instances, and just by clicking Next, I can advance to each instance of the chapstick throughout the document. Not only can I make notes on an event, such as interpreter, or on a document, such as the sticky note, but I can maintain a running log and have dated notes on the case. In this instance, my JA, Marla Smith, has noted that there are a significant number of related cases for the defendant. I can go to the case summary, click on the defendant's hyperlinked name, and execute a sophisticated query that will bring up cases matching on the search criteria. Once on this screen, I can select from the related case list and show the dockets in the case and the associated case summary. Each selected case item appears in the tab on the right, so I can alternate between cases. Once I exit related cases, I am returned back to the case. When I'm ready to go to the next case in the hearing, I click on Select Case and am presented with my docket where I select the next case I'm ready to hear. This concludes presiding over my docket.